Hello students, due to some inconvenience, I am using paper and pen method today. We have arrived at the last part of the amines chapter, that is reactions involving retention of diazo group. In the previous class, we have studied reactions involving removal of diazo group. And today we are studying reactions involving retention of diazo group, which are also called as coupling reactions. Only two examples are being discussed in this category. That is, example number one, reaction of benzene diazonium chloride with phenol. Benzene diazonium chloride structure is familiar to you. That is C6H5N2Cl, benzene ring N2Cl. And phenol structure I have written here to show the reaction properly. See this hydrogen here and all hydrogens will be there. As elimination takes place from the from here, I have shown this hydrogen separately. So when benzene diazonium chloride reacts with the phenol, here it forms para hydroxy azobenzene, which is orange in color. See, this is as it is. And reaction takes place in a basic medium. Elimination of water molecule takes place and Cn- minus will get eliminated to form. Look at, observe this structure properly. Para hydroxy azobenzene. It's an orange dye. Second one, reaction of benzene diazonium chloride with the aniline. Benzene diazonium chloride, C, reacts with the aniline in the acidic medium to form C. At the para position, what is their amino group is there? Para amino azobenzene. And uh, this is yellow in color. It is a yellow dye. Then, what is the reason for this color? The reason for this color is remember, that is extended conjugation. See, double bond, single bond. Uh, sorry, double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond. Double bond, single bond. When two, comp uh, two uh, uh, compounds were there to react to form the product, in the product the conjugation is extended which leads in the formation of colored compounds and this is the importance of coupling reactions. The color, um, why diazonium compounds are colored in nature? Uh, I mean sorry, why the products formed in the coupling reactions are colored in nature? Because of the extended conjugation. Okay, this completes the reactions part of the chapter.